Okay, welcome to the first video for the channel, Rex Bunny Rabbits. My name's Tim, and I love raising beautiful bunny rabbits. And I haven't had a litter in a while. You'll notice there's a few videos on the channel already, and those were uh, videos from a, a couple years ago that I just I put up uh, just to kind of get things started with the channel. Uh, I used to do my rabbit videos on my own personal channel, but I decided to start moving them over and putting them all together in one place. But these are my beautiful babies. Um, on the bottom down here, we've got I've got my breeding uh, my breeding stock. Ocho is the buck, the father of the litter that I'm fixing to show you over here. But uh, Miss Mimi Flip Flip is going to have a litter at the end of the month, and Miss Orangey Poo she's not having yet, and Hash Brown is probably going to have one next. I'm going to let her breed. Uh, Link would be her grandfather, so I'm trying to get more of his uh, blue tort Lynx colors um, in the future, but. Anyway, these guys are really pretty, and um, if you if you like this kind of content, these are uh, pedigree bunnies, and I'm just going to be showing the babies, and I'll be doing a few videos with them. My plan is to uh, do a video around 7 to 10 days when the litter's born, and do another video a couple of weeks later when they're real active, and uh, by the time the next video comes around, the, the new litter will be here, and there'll still be some left over. I try to find these guys' homes. Uh, I don't overbreed them. This is just kind of for hobby. Um, you know, if people aren't buying them, I don't breed them. So, but if I'm getting some requests, I'll have a few litters. But uh, anyway, she had a litter of five, and they're gorgeous. And one passed away, unfortunately. I, I wasn't on top of my A game, just keeping a check on them. But um, you know, you you learn when you're raising these guys to keep an eye on. Usually, the mom will feed them a couple of times a day. And you want to make sure that you check the nesting box uh, after those feedings. And that way you can catch maybe a bunny that's gotten uh, away from the, the litter. You know, sometimes they'll get on the floor. Sometimes they'll crawl through the cage. They'll get pulled out of the box or get isolated on the uh, corner of the box or something and get cold. And you have to kind of keep your eye on that. And I, I missed a day and sure enough, I think one of them died from just being uh, too cold. But um, anyway, you live, you learn. I, I hate seeing that happen, but um, you know there'll be more bunny, more beautiful bunnies in the future. But these guys are real sweet. Rex bunnies are known for their fur, and um, they've got a real plush type of fur, and they're a medium-sized breed. And they're really uh, just uh, the colors stand out because of their uh, the, the nature of their hair. They lack the uh, the guard hair that normal uh, rabbits normally have, so they uh, it lets the colors stand out really good. And uh, I've worked a long time to get uh, the, the ones that I want down here. And, you know, maybe if, uh, you know, if I get enough subscribers, we'll we'll turn this little area down here into a rabbit room and we'll just get it fixed up real good. And, you know, and this will be where we do our rabbit videos at and everything. But it depends on you hitting the subscribe and like button because uh, these channels are hard sometimes to get going. Let me sneeze right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um these channels are kind of hard to get going sometimes, but if I can, if I can get enough subscribers, I can start to, um, I can start to kind of do some stuff down here and maybe have some more litters and, um, make it something fun for people that like this kind of thing. And I'll show you the little, uh, the little babies are just magical. They, um, they're just fun to watch develop and interact with. And, uh, I've got them down here where I, uh, do my packaging and stuff for uh, stuff that I ship out and everything and used to be a worm room down here I used to grow a lot of worms and and I still do uh, grow them to a degree but I'm kind of phasing that out and I'm looking for ideas for how to utilize this space down here one was a grow room for plants and the other is uh, maybe turn it into a rabbit room if the uh, if the if the channel starts to do really good the channel starts to do really good when we'll have more litters um <coughs> we'll have more litters and more videos my goal is to do about two or three a month and um but let's check the little guys out and i'll show you uh i'll show you daddy rabbit over here this is ocho hey ocho you birdie boy don't eat your you little boy oh, come back hey little baby hey little bunny hey little pretty golden brown bunny you pretty mama you a pretty baby let everybody see you let everybody see you golden brown bunny this is Mimu. Hey, Mimu, you little butterscotch baby. You come here, let me pet you. Ooh, you sweet. Your baby's pretty. Can you see them pretty babies? This is one of my prettier does. She's just got a real beautiful color. She's a, I guess you could call her a harlequin because she's got just a little bit of black right there. Um, 
that would be like a Japanese Harlequin if they're mainly, uh, if they're, if they're less black than they are their, the other color, but she's real sweet. She's doing a good job. She's, her babies are real pretty too. And, um, look to do, look forward to doing a lot of videos with her litters in the future, but let's look at her little youngins and, um, that'll be the first video that we do for the first new video. Like I said, there's some older ones, but, uh, this is the first official one. I hadn't had any litter since the beginning of the year, since everything's been kind of slow. But uh, we're going to do our next video with her in a couple of weeks and her babies in a couple of weeks once they start getting real active. And around that time, she'll be having hers. And she's a real sweet one, too. All these all these bunnies are sweet. Uh, I, had a, I have the rabbitry's name is Good Temperament Rex Bunny, so a lot of real sweet rabbits to interact with. I just real pretty. I love it. I love you, little Mimu. Mimu, good little golden brown bunny. All right, let's look at your babies, Mimu. Okay, so there's five in here. Like I said, I lost one, but these are the new guys, and they're just going to be beautiful. I'm seeing uh, one that looks like a sod right here, kind of like its mom, but without any any black. Um, and then there's a there's one harlequin and a Japanese harlequin. A tricolor and an orange and white. The one that I lost is orange and white, but um, I won't get them out of their box right now. I don't want to disturb them. I'll just kind of let you see them. It's always good to. Now, these guys are real healthy, by the way. They're doing good at day seven. They're all looking real healthy. And um, like I said, they'll start getting active uh, around three weeks. And so, like I said, that's kind of my that's kind of my idea for how to do these. Uh, is uh, to just do a little video with them when they're when they're real little. Around seven days is good because you, you kind of see what their colors are going to be. And then uh, around 21 days, and then after that, the next litter. I want to have one litter a month, but we'll just see how everything goes. Like I said, if people start to uh, subscribe to the channel and show interest in the channel, we'll do more videos. But um, they're just wonderful little babies. They're they're real pretty. This this little tricolor bunny. Um, I really got my eyes on that one. That's going to be a nice one. And, um, like I said, there's the tricolor right here that's moving around. The Harlequin, uh, what appears to be a solid color, like it's the color of its mom. And, um, orange and white and a Japanese Harlequin right here. That just means more orange than black. It's got just a little bit of black on them. But it's always good when these guys are born to get a, get a good head count. And uh, the moms typically feed them in the evening or late in the evening and early in the morning. So usually you get two little feedings there. And so you always want to check them a couple times a day just to make sure. The one that passed away was over here in the corner. And if I would have got it that morning and just checked, I'd have probably got it, been able to save it. Um, you know, usually they can survive pretty good. Uh, for a little while outside the nesting area, but they you have to get them back there pretty pretty quick. But um, you so pretty, pretty baby. But anyway, those the babies. Uh, be sure to check back in a week or so, or two weeks, and. Um, Make sure you subscribe, and we'll we'll keep doing this. And uh, if I get enough subscribers, we'll really I'll put some more, uh, a lot more time and effort into it.